various ways to get a chrome look to your nails. And today we're going to add a new method to that list, and that is using chrome nail powder. No fake nails this time, and I'm trying to... the retailers and videos say that this is only for gel polish that's cured under a UV lamp. I wasn't sure why, but I bought it anyway, even though I don't use gel and I don't have a lamp. To apply the powder, you need some kind of sponge applicator, and I used a sponge tip applicator from one of my eyeshadows in my collection. For each nail, you only need a small amount, so use a little bit at first and add more later if you don't want to waste the powder. Again, this is supposed to be for gel polish that's cured under a lamp only, but... I went to Target and I bought some Sally Hansen Miracle Gel in black and the matching top coat to use under the powder just to see what it looks like. These require no lights to set. I applied two coats of the black polish and then to make it extra shiny and squishy, a coat of the Miracle Gel top coat. I gently touched each nail to make sure that everything was completely dry and now here's my first test with this amount of powder. So now I'm buffing the powder on, and at this point I'm thinking, this isn't going to work. And maybe I'm just an idiot for trying this. So let's add a little more powder just in case. Doesn't seem like it's working. Hold on. Something's happening right there. Dude, it actually works. The powder is super fine, and I think that it's made out of some super thin chrome flakes. And I'm assuming that the buffing flattens those particles down and it sticks to the surface. Hello! True mirror finish right there. So this next nail wasn't completely smooth and you'll see that once the powder is on that the imperfections kind of mar the reflection a bit. And it makes sense, it's another reason why gel polish is recommended because you get a really smooth finish with gel. I am really, really happy to say that it actually worked. About the cleanup though, brushing the powder off didn't really work, so I used liquid latex to remove it. And it worked really well and got most of it off. Brushing lightly didn't work. There wasn't enough pressure. You can use tape though to pick it up. I think a Q-tip with nail polish remover could work better than a brush because you can use more pressure to physically rub it off your skin. Okay, now it's time for top coat. And I used the matching top coat and look what happened to the finish. So, now I understand why they recommend gel polish. Because it won't ruin the finish. Kind of like nail foils. Now that we found that out, if I use my water-based top coat from Little Undyne or Undine, or if I had UV gel polish, then it won't crack the finish. So now I'm going to fix it by adding more powder on top, and here is the difference. One more item that you can use to clean up is a corrector pen. This is from Julep, but I think maybe another company makes it, but I'm not sure. Let me know. It's filled with polish remover and you can physically push the particles off the skin. But then again, a Q-tip will also work in the exact same way. Here's another test. If you don't have a water-based or a UV-cured gel top coat, I try to do a little bit of rubbing, and a small amount of pressure won't take all the particles off, so that's good. But if you add water or wash your hands without using a top coat, eventually the particles start to rub off and you get this kind of aged mercury glass look. And that's it! Thanks for checking out my nail product experiments with the powder. Here's a sneak peek of the next video coming soon. That's it for this video! Thanks for watching! Hey! Did, did they click like? If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. We have no thumbs. <laughs>